Hey guys, it's your boy Curvers, and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. This is part two of episode five of season two. Getting very close to the end. Oh, well, oh. luckily the game didn't force me to restart season five. So episode five, sorry. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. We're just getting to the. I think we're coming up to the house now. Actually, it's the ice part. Very close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. Yep. I'm it's really starting to scare the bullshit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. Miss Vita Come. Um. There. That piece of shit. That's scripted in this next part that we're gonna lose Luke. But you can also lose his, uh... It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. It looks like it's empty. Yes. You can also lose Bonnie. I thought so too. But now that he said that, I'm not as sure. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna intentionally lose Bonnie or I'm gonna save her. I haven't decided. I'm still a bit ticked off that she... he sold... This out the car. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Там твёрдый. American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread so, out. Yeah. Just Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see what I do. Hmm. Since he's so confident, he's okay. I mean, I see it as 50 50. To be honest, with his leg, losing Luke is probably a good thing. Because he would just slow us down either way. And yeah. So, sorry, fans of Luke, but he has to go. Even if I want to save him, I can't. I'm pretty sure it's scripted that he's gonna die in this scene. So, wah, wah. like I said, we're okay. His leg. That, that's gonna be a problem. It's just gonna slow us down. It's just gonna hinder us. I mean, we got some walkers behind us. He'd be pretty, he'd be screwed anyway, even Let's if he doesn't fall through the ice, the walker would probably get it. Hey, stay with us! Because you can bet there's more than that. That's too less to deal with. Well, just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Man. Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! As I was saying, granted, there were more walkers, the ice would break faster. Well, they made it. Oh, I bet he stood where Clem, where the ice was breaking under Clementine. That's, I bet that's why. It's cracking so much, because he cannot win that much, right? Even with the gun and the shed. Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! You gotta get out of there, Luke! Yeah, Clem! I'm working on it! You need to help! No! Clem, go! Go help him! No, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're lying! You Stop can do telling it. her that! Cliff, look at me. Pull out your gun 
Then shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. You claim you can make it, but you need to go. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. Knock on the my, my, my leg! I just, I just Hold need on, a, I got you. Rest a sec. Uh, keep him off us, man. No, no, it's too much. I got gotcha. you. She's gone. Wah, wah. Did that happen? Jesus Christ. I'll look for something to start a fire. Body and Luke, they're just fucking gone. Jesus. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. The ice was too thin. I couldn't reach him. Once that I started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? Kenny has a point. This is crazy! What? Because your friend here turned out to be a shitbag after all? He's just a scared kid! This ain't on him! Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks! I bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, yeah, Teddy! Fuck you. You motherfucker! <laughs> fuck, Ted! Let him go, Mike. Yeah. Let that rusty piece of shit get what he deserves. you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? It'll help me. I don't like the guy. And since I know how... This is episode and therefore Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike or... goes. Well, I yeah, okay. he he really don't like it. We should kill him. You got a light? I thought I had matches.
take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're out. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? If he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. We have to move on now. He was a liability. So I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Leave him Mike. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Be careful. I'll be fine. The Russian is right there. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Well, that's pretty goddamn convenient that someone just left the keys around. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell. I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl.
busted. Figures. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. He's gonna disappear. We're all gonna think he's dead. He's gonna come back halfway through next season. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. Can we have less of me being kidnapped by a stranger and having to be saved by Lee? Because Lee is kind of dead. Kenny isn't Carter. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. And none of you, Lee. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Hey, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running this Where the hell did that even come from? Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crossbow. I can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He's a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Crap. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of his head. I should have got my cervical options. She was just staring up at the sky. She was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, for a place warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's too dangerous. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, 
but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses? Yeah. Car? God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them. You better talk some sense in him. For his sake. a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. I don't understand them either. I know. I know, Clem. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to not trust anyone. And to keep my hair short. Where's the, let's just get the kid and drive off. What's the point Leave. going on after that? If one, if a, uh, sorry. And if Hayden and Mike don't want to come, that's their business. I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a while. Don't long. compare me to your dumbass I son again. Now. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look. We'll figure everything out in the morning. No, let's just leave now! Oh, you wanted to leave now! Why can't we leave now? Just get... the kid, bring him to the truck, we drive off! Come, that's their business. They can go straight to hell! Seriously, seriously. I mean, this is such a. Easy. Fuck, easy now. Step back. Shoot that fucking what are you doing? scum in the head. 
Shoot both in the head. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Bullshit. Stupid scripted bullshit. That's you can quote that. Stupid scripted bullshit. Lee. It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. This took a weird, weird turn. This. And I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't. I did. He is a stupid crybaby. Mm -hmm. Put a bullet in his head. Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? Maybe. It was a hard thing to do. But what if she'd done something to hurt you? I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Claire. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes, that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. No, Clem. You will strike down with furious vengeance on those who have wronged you. That you won't leave me. That Russian head will be crushed. Mike, bang. Everything's gonna be okay. Vengeance will be swift, and it will be sweet. Now let's 
Let's try to get some sleep. Because no one fucks with the main character of a game and gets away with it. Well, unless the game is Max Effect 1 and you're that... that human chancellor guy from the Citadel. Then you can get away with it. But if the first two... if the past... Does any indication revenge will be mine in CD3? On the left! Slow down! Shut up! She's awake. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please, this is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look. Even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we could turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loves Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie... Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny. Still recovering from being shot, but you know, other than that, I'm good. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Alright? If you're going, go now. Kenny! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried. 
but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around here. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Yes, I do, actually. I just saw the uh, little circle thing in the bottom. That means it's saved, which means means I have to end it here. And then next, uh, so I think we will be finishing season two. Who tells us the walk? Did so until next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, and hit the like, smash the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for more of me. Post very soon. And until next time. I will see you all very, very soon, and I hope you all.